During this video, we will show you how to bring a MetaHuman to Marvelous Designer. If you already have created a MetaHuman, we will start by introducing it to the scene. If not, we can create a new one. In this case, we will create one. We can access it through the content drawer. In content, you will find a folder dedicated to MetaHumans. If you already have it in your files, you will find it there. Otherwise, right-clicking will bring up the drop-down menu. Here you will find an option to start a new MetaHuman character. We'll name the file that represents the MetaHuman and start editing it. In the table off the left, we can see the editing options during the process. The first editing option is to find a preset that is useful as an editable base. Any preset chosen will be fully editable afterwards. The next option is the body. We will focus our editing on its physical appearance. For more exact measurements, they can be entered into the model subpanel. Once you are happy with the result, the last option is the creation panel, which is dedicated to the structure of the assets. Make sure your avatar already has rigging done. If not, now is a good time. If you want to keep the texturing, it is essential that you apply rigging to the avatar. We will export the avatar using the DDC options. We will import using the DNA import type, allowing us to bring all the information we've been working with in Unreal Engine, adjusting how Unreal Engine export assets. MetaHuman divides the head and body into separate parts. You will need to assign each asset to its correct function. The default scale is set to human scale imports. If you require a different scale, you can change it. As you can see, the avatar has been brought in with an A pose and with its textures. By default, underwear will be applied to the body texture. Let's add some clothing to the avatar. This way we can see the quality of the mess and its viability within Marvelous Designer. We can see how the collision of the avatar with the clothes does not generate unwanted collisions between the body and the head. By bringing the already rig avatar from Unreal Engine, you can use its rig to pose directly. Lastly, we can export our assets as an USD format which are going to be used on the second part of this video. We hope this tool will streamline your workflow for working with Real Engine and Marvelous Designer.